There we go. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. We're going live again to discuss Facebook advertising and all that is amazing in the world of Facebook ads. Uh, my name is Brian Mert. I'm the CEO of Advertisement. Thanks for, uh, for being here. Um, here's kind of how the format works. I got a couple of updates of things that have happened this last week in the world of Facebook advertising. If you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions at any point in time, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you like what you're hearing, throw some emojis across the screen uh, or some reactions. And, uh, and yeah, I always love getting feedback from you guys. So I wanna make sure it's valuable for you. Um, we have a couple things we'll run over and then at the end, any questions that come through, I'll try to run through them uh, as quickly as possible. We also, you know, if you're watching this at a later time, uh, go ahead and leave any questions that you have in the comments below and we go into the previous videos uh, and pull out questions that people have asked. So yeah, anyway, thanks so much. Okay, so there's a couple things that came out this week that are real exciting. Uh, the first one is that Facebook announced uh, a health summit for pharmaceutical companies uh, in New York that's gonna happen on June 6th. So this is a big deal. Traditionally, Facebook uh, you know, pharmaceutical companies haven't been able to advertise a lot on Facebook because of restrictions um, and because of the targeting that they're going after people. You know, they're trying to find people that may have a certain illness. Uh, Facebook views that as profiling and a lot of times will block the pharmaceutical companies. So what happens is this is Facebook's first big attempt at going out to them and saying, hey, let's have a conversation. Let's discuss what are the options and availability for large pharmaceutical companies to be able to advertise on Facebook. So again, this is a big area. Pharmaceuticals uh, companies traditionally have a lot of money um, behind what they're trying to do and a lot of uh, advertising budgets. So I imagine this is Facebook's way to be able to go after those larger advertisers uh, and hopefully capture some of their ad revenue and be able to, to uh, provide uh, advertising that's relevant towards people that may you know, have certain conditions or, or, you know, be interested in options that could treat a condition that they potentially have. So anyway, it's good to know uh, that that's there. Uh, another option or another uh, update was that Facebook Blueprint recently updated their certification. I think I touched on this briefly in another, um, uh, another live seminar, but basically, you know, traditionally when Facebook Blueprint launched, it was for 12 months. Then you had to take the tests again to be able to get certified. Facebook has now extended that to 18 months, um, giving you a little bit longer, another six months of time before you would need to renew and update your certification to make sure that it's consistent. Um, and then another update that we had was Instagram stories. If any of you are running Instagram stories, uh, you know, you now have the ability, traditionally uh, when you ran ads in the Instagram story format, it was only available for reach format, meaning you were just gonna get your videos out there to a lot of people um, and that was it. They have now updated and unlocked five other objectives uh, that you can now run your Instagram stories for. These ones are video views. So if you're trying to optimize for video views, traffic, if you're trying to get people to, to click out from a website to uh, your landing page, uh, conversions is another one uh, that you have the ability to, to send people to try to optimize for people that are looking to purchase. And finally, mobile app installs uh, is the last one that you have the ability to, to be able to set up with Instagram stories. So again, it's an emerging ad format. Um, there's a lot of updates um, that I would expect to continue to roll, and this is a great opportunity. Not a lot of people are advertising there. Um, so, uh, you know, there's a, a new layout, which is the vertical video format, um, and that, that allows you to be able to reach people in the middle of the Instagram stories uh, with a message that's between 10 to 15 seconds long. So anyway, really exciting news. I think this will be big for a lot of direct response advertisers, a lot of people that are looking to generate revenue or generate potential leads or driving people to landing pages. Uh, those type of things are gonna be able to, to help, you know, find a new area to be able to display ads to the right user at the right time. Um, and here's a, a quick update that I wanted to run with you or tell you guys about. Um, earlier this morning, about 20 minutes before I, I started going live, uh, I did a podcast interview um, with, uh, with Mike and Ken over at uh, Smedge, S-M-E-D-G-E. -E. Uh, if you want to check it out and hear my podcast where I talked with them, you can go to blogtalkradio.com slash S-M-E-D-G-E. 
Um, and I, I had a great interview with him. We were discussing some of the things in uh, social media and in relation to Facebook advertising. Um, and they had a couple questions that I had to give like really quick answers to uh, because it was, you know, it was on a time format and we had to be able to finish up within the allotted time. But here where I've got a little bit more, uh, I wanted to maybe talk a little about some of the questions that we were talking there and be able to give maybe a more in-depth answer. So the first one uh, that we talked about was, what should you do if your ads are not performing well? So this is very common. A lot of people have are, are running their Facebook advertising and they're like, oh, my ads aren't working. Facebook doesn't work for me. Um, and I always hear that makes me cringe because you know Facebook, the, the ad platform is so powerful and there are so many options of what you can do in relation to it that it's almost ridiculous to be like, it doesn't work for you. And if it doesn't, if it truly doesn't work for you, then I would argue that your business probably doesn't work um, or is struggling to work or you have a very small audience of targeted people that you would potentially wanna reach. Um, but I, I gave a couple of bullet point things to them really quickly uh, that I wanna just recap here. If your ads are not working well, the very first thing you should do is to look back at your data um, and start to view this over time. You know, you want to see things like relevant score, uh, click-through rates, cost per click, CPMs, average view times for your videos, right? Are those trending up or are they trending down? And that's kind of the first indicator to be like, is there really a problem? Or is this something that, uh, you know, is on my end? Or is it something that could be coming from somewhere else in the ad platform? But that's very much the first step. And, and a lot of times I look at those numbers and see if they're trending up, if they're trending down. And then I start to look at how I can be able to make adjustments from there. Once I know I can able to diagnose the, the right problem, you know, if the relevant score is dropping or if the relevant score is at one, the issue is with the ad or with the targeting. Um, but you know, if the relevant score is 10, but I'm not converting anyone, maybe it's a funny viral video, but it has absolutely nothing to do with the product that's being discussed. I don't know, uh, but that's the first step. The second thing is targeting. You know, uh, you know, you can either, sometimes you can target too broad, um, and a lot of times that can lower the cost, the overall cost per action, or you know, CPMs go down, but because it's so broad, there aren't a lot of people that are looking to complete what it is that you want to do. Also in the same way, sometimes you can get too narrow. Um, and if you have too small of an audience, uh, you know, Facebook doesn't have a lot of data to run off of and they don't have a lot of potential people to be able to show it to. So, you know, you want to make sure that you're targeting, you know, you, you can test all three. You can test a wide audience, a, a good size audience, and then a very narrow audience and start to see your different results there and what, what's happening. The third thing I, I touched on was a creative, ad creative. This is so important and such a critical foundation of Facebook advertising. If, if you just put up you know, an image and just expect everyone to come running to your ads, you should expect average and mediocre or even uh, subpar results. You know, when it comes to creative, you have the ability to interrupt someone's day, um, a targeted user with your message. Um, so a lot of times you need to have creative that's, that's valuable for them, that has something that they're gonna care about or find interesting. Um, if you don't, you know, expect to pay a lot more for what you're looking to do. But if you can focus on being creative with your ads, uh, finding ways to make people smile, to have an emotion, uh, to have a reaction, whether it's happiness or fear um, or shocking, you know, all those types of things are ways that you can be able to, to improve your ads as well as you know, visual effects. Um, adding something that you know, catches people's eyes, that is like, oh, you know, what's going on here? Those type of things will ultimately always be able to help your ads do better. Um, the last two points that I touched on uh, were one landing pages or you know the website URL which is this is where you're sending traffic to a lot of times um, and to some extent a lot of times people just expect Facebook to be their magic bullet they're like hey I just I'll put ads out there oh no one's converting from Facebook it's Facebook's problem um, no that's that's not always the case at all in fact a lot of times if you look at the conversion rates of the website uh, or from the people that, that you know where they're sending to they're horrible um, and the truth is, I mean, with a horrible uh, landing page or horrible conversion rates, you're gonna get horrible results no matter what. I um, mean, you're basically throwing your money away because Facebook isn't any cheaper, but you're taking, you know, 100 people and you're converting, you know, 0.5 versus there's other websites that are taking those same 100 people and they're converting 5%. 
So five of them are becoming customers. So which business is gonna do better? Uh, the one with the better conversion rates. So it's always worth your time to optimize your landing pages and your websites to really focus around the questions that people are gonna have, to be able to show the products and benefits and the features, um, and to be able to show testimonials, to give them the you know incentives for ordering now, free shipping, here's coupon codes, all those things add up and improve on your overall conversion rate for you know people that are coming um, you know, to your site from a Facebook ad. Um, and then lastly, it's just a product or service. You know, you can do all the four things above, um, but if you're selling a product or service that no one has a need for or no one cares about, um, you know, it may be a good indicator that this may not be something that's, you know, worthwhile or putting on Facebook. Um, you know, just because it's an idea and it's out there, uh, doesn't necessarily mean, you know, it, it has a market for it. Um, and ultimately that's it. You know, Facebook is a beautiful litmus test for testing the market from targeted people. So if you're showing your product or service to a group of targeted people that care about other product or services that may be similar and no one cares about it, you're getting no click-through rates, you're not getting any conversions, that could be an indicator that you, it's just your product um, or your service. You need to go back to the drawing board or figure out what people really want and build something that provides value to them. Um, another question that we talked about on the podcast was, what type of ad creative are working best um, on Facebook and Instagram? Like, what do you see that's getting the best results? What's working? Um, you know, what should I be doing? Um, and to some extent, we see a lot of success with videos. Um, you know, these give you the ability to tell a story, to have fun, to be able to engage or interact with people. Um, it's it's moving elements that allow you to, you know, people just they're they're, they're easily attracted to them. They'll they'll stop and watch. Um, you know, and, and remember with videos, they play with sound off. So using a lot of text or overlays um, that, that mimic or mirror what is happening in the video uh, is also helpful. And then I would also, you know, explore formats. You know, the traditional size, which is landscape videos, um, we get, we see great success with videos that are running in square formats or even the vertical layout formats, which is, you know, the, this one, but formatted that way. Um, and to some extent we see great results because it just takes up more screen size on the ad or in the ad unit on a mobile phone. Uh, and that means you have more ways or abilities to be able to communicate your message or present something visually appealing to the users. Let me grab some water. Another <clears throat> option is movable uh, images or cinemagraphs. Uh, a lot of times an image that has some sort of a small moving element to it can work well it just catches the eye uh, you know I, I view them as maybe a little gimmicky uh, but at the same point a lot of times it's just an image but if there is something moving it stops you for a minute to be able to be like hey wait that that doesn't look right it's an image but there's something moving um, and that's all it takes is you know being able to capture someone's attention uh, to be able to provide them with why you know whatever it is that you have that's valuable for their lives um, and then third, the last thing that I'd say is, you know, ad creative is you always make it relevant for them. Um, you know, think about the user um, and, and make it valuable. You know, you want it to, to offer something, to be urgent, to be time sensitive, um, to give them a reason to be like, man, we need to do this now versus, you know, a week from now or a month from now. It's kind of like making your bed. You'd be like, yeah, make your bed. And someone's like, okay, but if someone's like, if you make your bed and you get $1,000, boom, hey, you're gonna make your bed right now. Um, because that's, <laughs> all of a sudden you have an incentive, uh, but you have to do, you know, you have to make your bed in the next five minutes, right? People would run to get that completed. So you can leverage those same type of, you know, psycholo psychology, um, you know, behind ads and, and getting people to, to take actions uh, that otherwise they may put off. But it's definitely something that you should look at. Um, and then last, the, the last question that we had was, you know, what's one piece of advice on making Facebook ads successful? Um, and I had to give a real quick answer to this, um, but here would be my, my true, true answer on one piece of advice, is when it comes to Facebook advertising, as you're putting your ads up, you need to be thinking about, one, what's in it for the user, right? The people that are there don't care about your business, they don't care about their service, all they care about is, you know, themselves and what that product or service can do for them. 
You know, making sure that you realize that. And then second, I would say you need to focus, you know, forget about the sheep mentality, which is, hey, there's just a bit, ton of sheep and we're gonna make them do what we want. We're gonna make them buy our product. If you're approaching Facebook ads thinking that, you know, it's just a, a herd of sheep and, you know, dumb sheep and they'll do whatever I want, whatever I tell them to, you're, you're gonna struggle. Your ads will struggle 100% or you're just gonna end up paying a lot more than you need to pay. But if you can focus on how to make a friend, how to use that ad, to use your money paying for a Facebook ad to make a friend out of the person who is watching that, you'll see way better results. An example I would use is, you know, when I was a kid, I remember one day like my mom threw in some extra gummy bears into my lunch and it was like at the beginning of the school year and I went up to a table and there was like another kid there and I was like, hey, I've got some extra gummy bears, you want one? And he turned and he was like, okay, cool. And instantly, right, he was my friend. Like he's like, hey, what's up? And we became friends. All it took was an extra pack of gummy bears that my mom had thrown into, into my lunch bag. So a lot of times your businesses have things that are valuable or that another person would want on this planet that would turn them into your friend. Um, you just need to be able to focus your ads on, you know, not necessarily just like gimme, 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 you need to give me your money, you need to buy my stuff. Um, but stop for a minute and be like, what can I give back to those people? How can I turn that person who's viewing my ad into a friend, into a fan of my business? Um, I can be able to, to you know, communicate with them and, and have you know, a, a long-standing relationship with them. You're paying for it, so why not make it valuable and turn it into something that could generate money for years and years and years down the road as opposed to just focusing on something that is very short term, like just give me your money today. Um, anyway, those are my advice right there. Uh, let me see, are there any other questions that have come through? Um, I just, I wanna thank you guys so much for, for joining me and checking out my live sessions. We go live every Tuesday and every uh, Friday. So feel free to jump on at any point in time. If you know other people that should be checking this out, tag them in the comments so they know where to come. Uh, but again, thank you so much and have a great day.